Hi everybody. Well, what the last couple of weeks, hey? I've just videos you've been watching are old videos, and so this is before what's happened, and so I sound quite happy. The problems were still there, but I've been at my mum's. My I turned up as a visit, knowing he was very ill. But when I looked at him, I thought I c I can't go home, and about three or four days later, I died. And I saw my dad die, and it was horrible as far as I'm concerned. The whole thing, they're saying it was peaceful, but if that's what has to happen to you to get to the other side, I'm sorry, that's all, that's all horrible, really horrible. But anyway, never actually seen someone die. So, you know, in this video, if I sound a bit, I don't know, I feel a bit of me's missing right now, but if I sound a bit flat, I, I, I made a video about the church, and it was okay at the beginning not to mention it because then nobody knows I can pretend but it's happened nearly two weeks ago now maybe it's best just to say something but that's what's been happening in my life but anyway all this stuff about this church which is in Laxfield and bones and crypts and all these things it just all fitted into this video uh, by accident it is because we went to this church a few days after my dad had died so we were going there I mean obviously my mum believes more that obviously she prayed to God and whatever but you know it's a little bit different to what we think but I did see that but I just had to take some photographs and make a video because I was really really shocked at the stones on the floor leading up to the altar that the dates on them some of them or one brass one went back to 1606 and a lot of them were in the 1600s and some were in the 1700s of course the ones outside are in the 1800s 17 and 1800s but i kind of have a theory now and this is also because mickey was helping me on the other one weren't you mickey but we had to do it again because i picked this song what is it the ink spots yeah. What's yeah. the song called again? I don't want to set the world on fire. Yeah, I learnt that that was one of my dad's favourite songs that we're going to play at his funeral. But I didn't know that. So, to me, that's an old song. How old is it? 1930s. They copyrighted right. one and a half minutes of it. The whole video. I made loads of videos. I've got to do them all again. Because you take that bit out and then I'll copyright the next few bits. And by the time we finished... We may as well have done what we're doing yeah, now. The, the video. But anyway, it's crazy. Sorry, I've got it now because obviously I recorded this video, but we're having to record it again. But we're outside this church in Laxfield. I was very shocked at how different the steeple was to the rest of the church and that this church had been really built on. And at the back, the ground was raised up. And I thought, oh, even out here where my parents live, Oh, right, it's, it's still the same out here as well. The church is on raised ground. Sometimes the church will meet the top, but they've they've somehow done what they've done at the time they were building them. So it's not because yeah. it's on some hill. Well, it's well, the because... Church, they want the church at higher ground, so from the town you can see the church and the time. A bit like my one. Well, I don't know. If we'll oh, here we go. We're yeah. moving now. So inside but the church... We were looking at things like this, right? And Mickey thought that looked like a boat upside down. Done by a boat carpenter, no doubt. And then see on the floor here, there are J69J. And it says Anno Domo J69, whatever the other numbers are. So what is a J? Is it an I? Mm. My mum's going, it's an I. And I was going, well, it's a J, mum. No, it's an I. J69J. So we were like that when we were in this I church. Think it would have, would have been a part of the English... Uh, language with the i's and the j's you know there's some sort of comp like uh confusion yeah see j770 i've only taken a little bit the other video which is out now um that has a lot more on it see anno domin j699 so this is a gap between the j and the six a domini. so it's an i then that, one, dom that means the year well it says 699 then but everybody thinks it's a sixteen ninety nine. I did a thousand years. And that, that's in my mum and dad's. I did a thousand years. But that's in my mum and dad's house, and this is the Lancaster and yeah. 
and and wow. and York time, which is the War of the Roses yeah. before the War of the Roses. Your plaque is actually on one of these. Well, the sheep, they, I the looked shield. at it. They have wheat. They have wheat That's things. It, the three wheat bales and the. And the there was many. Free it's access. in the other video, Mickey, but you see all those are on the floor in this church. It's not the most that's where you're looking back from is is Adams, is yeah. here. You're look you're looking back from this end looking back. But anyway, the point of this was I noticed that this land see there it goes, fifteen fifty seven. Is that a fire or is that is that crops? I don't know. No, that's a train. No, at the top of the at the top, top of the plaque. Sorry. You'll have to wait for another time now, Mickey. Oh, look. Have a look industrial like you know trains hogs carriage yeah so there's a there's few a things there thing. nice building it's even got a train um the original train this is the pub so look who's on the pub we're back to these eras <laughs> chelsea that's a, that's a chelsea pensioner sitting next to the king king henry the whatever it was and look you your buildings are like that in um yeah yeah add on yeah again no the church is there with here. buildings outside carl mm. shorten's yeah, yeah. the same oh, God, yeah in three windows on the side again as well isn't it? well all those windows are different and i mentioned that in the other one and that was to show you that was a little school but that's in the other video but you see here everything's different bits have been built on at different times and that's the land that's up so you see a little river, but they're all down there, those houses. Yeah. So it's actually a huge... Well, this is what we're getting to in a minute. There's a reason why it all fits in. Yeah, it just seems to be... So I was at this church looking at this. Mm -hmm. My dad had just died, so I'm not really in a very good mood, and it's whizzing around my head. But, you know, I was dealing with other things at the time, and your relief is to... Oh, I know what that is now. Um, but you can see those houses are lower... And they're lower on the other side. It's the same thing. We have a church in Thatcham that's the same. Mickey and I have been to that. Yeah. His church is the same, which we're going to show in a moment. <coughs> but all those are down there. There we go. All Saints Church. And the churches have got the same name. I can see, see the clock from my house. From that all Saints Church is built up on top of land. And I'm going to explain why that is now. Now you can see that one. See, this man's walking up to the church. As I go lower down there. Yeah, it's lower on the pavement, but he's walking up to the church. There's a little path here. They've got gravestones down there. Yeah. That's, I think that's the original. See, there's the bank. <laughs> and the reason this is happening is, this is what I think I've worked out, and this is why we don't see people buried until the maybe 17 into 1800s, is because under the churches are crypts. So that's where they buried everybody, was under the church. And here along the A4, we have a little church that's not been built on. So obviously these were like little temples to go in, to go down to the crypt, to see everybody buried in the crypt. Mm. So these people, obviously there was less of them than there are now, there's obviously more of us now. Something must have happened for them not to go down to the crypts, to bury the people in the crypts. They buried them in the land instead. Is that, is that a flood? 1700s? We've got to the 1700s that's... and there being floods. Yeah, that's the... Were all these things flooded out? <coughs> but under nearly yeah, every church, especially, you know, in London, we're going to show a church in London, they've all got crypts underneath them. And this could be in a few different levels under the church. Oh, definitely. So they were burying everybody in the crypts, yeah. in those great big sort of, uh, okay. what do you call them, um, vampire-like coffins, huge things. Uh, but then they didn't. So what happened for them not to do it? Then they started, but no wonder they wanted them in those brass things looking like they were deep sea diver things. Mm -hmm. Those crypt, those coffins. Because yeah, they had to, they, oh, you're burying them on top of the land. But if you put them in one of those, they'll last longer. And they are airtight in those coffins. Here we go. See, it's to hide. The vault is there to hide the bodies. So everybody was put in the crypt. And this is why all churches are risen, because under the churches are crypts where the people were buried. Yeah, so it's like. But they might have been pagan then. These might have been pagan people. Mm, pagans are so. No, I don't yeah. see that. They don't have. Don't forget, they acquired the buildings, turned them into churches. A lot of them were pagan buildings first. These people in history seem to have taken over. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. But you know, everything's got to be in a crypt of some kind. Even that coffin is a crypt. 
um, but they were big crypts underneath. Look, these are crypts in places. Look at that. You didn't have a wedding reception in the crypt. I don't think no, I'd like that. Hang down that one. Would you like to have a wedding reception? No. 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 Because it has. When you go down here, it's it it, it just, it's like being under the like them uh, turning to in the pyramids in Egypt. You know, it's just dark. dark yeah. Cold, well, like, it isn't now. I've got lights and everything. Thing. But see, all these churches. These are crypts you're looking at under the churches. Even St Paul's Church in London mm. that has the biggest crypt. Largest in Europe. There yeah. you go. And then we get to this. Oh my goodness! I might stop this room. Mickey was really upset yeah, about this. Because what it is is we're told that this uh, when you see it, we're talking of Paris. Yeah, our usual Kirk in Paris. And yeah. everybody knows about that. And what's the stories? The one in was it Prague? The other one, the church it made out of all the bones. That's Poland. Poland. That's it. So what we're so, told is that the reason they look the way they do is that the bodies were running down the streets, overflowing all over everybody, coming out the cemetery, and this is why they had to put the bodies and bits like they did. But Christian will look at it and go, well, they look like trophies to me, and what are they, skull and Skulls, bones, bones and which we already done that on Sun and Moon. They were they were military soldiers as well. Some or they said some of them were this, some of them were soldiers. Yeah. So they, A little bit of children. But what they reckoned was... Hmm. When that man was looking, do you remember, what you're looking at is a cross-section of people where 10% were children and this is a normal amount of people dying in the times that they've said. Because they wondered whether they were soldiers and all sorts of things, mm -hmm. but they came to the conclusion that they it was with the amount of people they're seeing, 2,000, whatever it is, that actually was the population Not dying. But none of them looked old. You know, like most of the skeletons don't really... But why are these skeletons all in bits? There is nearly 5,000 people here, which means it's bigger than Paris. Mm. And let's put the it, video, it's, like it's not very long. In, in religion, the people want to be close to God. So, to so be, why would you do this to, to them? To be inside the church is like an honour. So why isn't their heads with their bodies? I don't know. It's, 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 that's, this, is, this is the, the uh, million dollar question, isn't it? Look at that. There's even pots with bits of body in it. Under those eaves, and we know those eaves are old. Look at it. I'd say mass extermination, if you were asking me. And then they tried, I don't know why they kept <coughs> any of the bodies. The crazy thing is, that the girls at the skulls were on the same sort of size, you know, you can tell the child's. Size well, they said most of them were women. That's it. You know I, mean? I mean, that doesn't really look like a woman, yeah, does again, it? You'll get that sort of pattern in the catacombs of France, you know making that pattern are they creating a, an energy or, or something or, you know they said most of the skulls were women well, one of you more, like the, the skulls different, don't you think the skulls would be a bit different to that yeah they would be for a woman not smaller so basically you just dumped yeah that one they just got dumped just down there training, it's it? like quick throw the body in and get out of there like look at that to me that looked like a water wedge of and then you do have a churches in Poland with this with there you go That's I think right. this one is Poland yeah. Uh, there you go. And that one's Portugal. Yeah. There's one in Portugal as well. Bone chandeliers. Those are real people in there. Bone chandeliers for bones. But this one was in Hyde, Kent. That's, that's, why, I, I, well, that's why I can't get. It's in England. It's, uh, Let's have a look. We're going to go back here because the video's going to finish in a minute. Let's go back here. So yeah. This being in England. It has so I'm saying that all the people I feel were buried in the crypts. And even you can see all those people. But what really got me about those bones was that there was no, like, there was no clothes, no meat. They were just already, it's like we're in that film, Time Machine. You know, when they all march off to go and get eaten. Well, if, I, if, I look, if I was to look at those bones, I look for, for knife marks, cut marks on the bone. Well, I don't, it's nothing to do. Well, so why uh, are those bones washed well, no, then? If they, if they, they them. Why are they washed? Well, because it's like, you know, if the body is like it's a ball of pus it's poisonous you know and it stinks so you gotta so somehow they you know but when you when we died my dad kind of mummified bones. when he died so people would just get stiff i don't think yeah may, maybe the insides so yeah okay. you said that was roman didn't you that mm -hmm. yeah the style in it yeah and the style of it being dug yeah but we weren't maybe living in as enemies there i mean getting on supposedly but anyway these are to show you that nearly all churches have these crypts underneath and crypts was yeah. the hidden room so they up. were putting them there so they weren't really on show but maybe that's better because 
Now we look at the place we are. There's so many statues to dead people. All we're living in is a dead person's place. We're just the sort of alive ones until we're dead. But what I worked out was all the people were buried in the crypts. There was obviously less people. And, um, yeah, there was less people. And then something happened where they didn't bury them in the crypts. And so the end of the 1700s into the 1800s, they started burying them on top. But they definitely had J's. The J's went back to an I, and it could be the old language, and so they were always an I, but they look like a J. But that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, no. They, Why do they, we they have a J? They, they, they couldn't uh, make up their mind. That's the thing. The They've I got the A's and E's joined together. That's what in writing. Uh, ITA writing, they taught me. That's what that's like. Yeah, probably in the same way then. Yeah, so it's enough. slightly Gaelic then, huh, sort of. But anyway. But they say it's like when they were, we're just going back to the books, bones. I went back a bit far, but we've been talking now. But uh, it did kind of upset me a bit because, you know, I've only seen that place in Paris looking like yeah. that. But I couldn't get over. That's what I realised that underneath the churches are these crypts. There, every church has one. Where? So the churches were for burying people. So they might not have even been churches. The bigger ones with the wheels well, in them. It, it? That's different. But yeah. look at this. It this looks worse than Auschwitz. This looks worse than Auschwitz. How could anybody be happy with that? Well, similar. Yeah, it's just in... How do they know there's five, four thousand people in there? It looks like thousands and thousands and that. Look at it, so many bits of body. This is disgusting. But we never know the history properly, do we? I mean, look at it. It's not advertised on the telly, I'll tell you that. I don't think they would, would they? So, if you want to know, it's the Crypt of St. Leonard's Never. Church, Hive Kent, has the largest collection of bones. It's bigger than the one in Paris. No, 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 <laughs> no, not really. Yes, it is. Look, it no, just no, said no, it. No, 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 no. Go back, because Mickey it's, didn't want to see it. Paris has. Yeah, the Paris largest collection of ancient in, human in. bones. The largest collection they have in Hive. Well, that's in, that's in England. Yeah, France. You ain't gonna beat the French one. <laughs> no, because there's only three thousand people buried in that one. Oh, only it sounds horrible, doesn't no. it? And well, the other thing they put in is that some of the people might have Beyond died from the Black Plague or something like that. So that's maybe why there's quite a lot of bodies. But then why would you, I don't know, would you put them in the crypt or would you burn them? I don't know because they're contaminators. I'd like to know if you had a plague and everyone's a, like about a, has a house that's a mile apart from maybe. I mean, is that, does that look like a woman to you, that one? It could be a child. Well, it looks like a man to me. I say you need to be there. If you put your hand over it, it's a child. But these were people. Yeah. These were human beings. Put my hand look, over my face. How long ago? When? Why? Look at all those bits down the bottom shelf. This is disgraceful. It's not just See, Paris that that's like got water, them. It's like a reservoir to me. Yeah? Like an underwater reservoir. What, were they supposed to be washed out? No, no, it's to, for water. Well, well, that's not, that's the crypt, the and all the crypts. Taken over, the bones and all that, you know, the crypts were there in the beginning, before that church was there, I know that, and you know that, in the doomsday, you know, so as they do, they come along. So how about the church? Look at it, they're pagans, these places, they up, were pagan places, the the grave, they could have been buried like pagan way, and then that's why they wouldn't go down there, because they're a different religion, it's all different, but, yeah, this is, this or we're not touching is, them. The thing. There's many possible, like, you know. I don't know. There's many parts, you know. Only we're one finishing now, Mickey. We're finishing now. So, on this section here, we're finishing. So, what's your thoughts, everybody? Like, how can we have these skulls and that in a church? And, oh, you can go and see them. But it all started in Laxfield. This is when my thoughts started this mm. time. It was a few weeks ago when I went there after my dad had died. And Maybe just want to say that, um, bless my dad. It's my little tribute to my dad. Bless my dad. And, um, yeah, it was, it was horrible. It's changed me a bit as a person. I don't know. I feel, I wouldn't say it's numb, but something's going on in there. But, um, you know, you never know how much you're going to miss someone until they're not there anymore. And he's gone now and I miss him much more than I thought I would. But there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching this bit. 
I found these few little video, these few little pictures. Um, just stuck these pictures in at the beginning of the next bit of video. Um, can you believe? Well, anyway, I like them. I don't know if I can ever believe everything, but I like some of the pictures and what they're saying. So I stick them on my videos. But we're going to start looking at another one now. Mickey's with me, aren't you, Mickey? Yeah, so here we go. So, we're in, I think it's Detroit, the 1930s, and we've got these three coming across the screen. I just don't see any of it being right. But, you know, all I've done is slow the footage down and everything turns into a cartoon, which we're going to take a bit deeper look at. But I was really heading towards the water, but then those three came across the screen. I mean, I just thought, wow, even when it's going at full speed, the water doesn't look right. But, you know, that's what they're showing us. So here come these three. I can't see what the man at the back's doing. His hand seems to be out most of the time. And occasionally I think, oh, look, it looks like a police car. But who the hell knows? But the two in front, I filmed it because we're always so sure it's just Americans till a mm. certain time. But when you look at the footage, more than likely there are darker skinned yeah, people yeah. there. Always. They look like Indians to me. Yeah, that's what I see. And classic I... players. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He says, uh, I think that's a Tilbury hat. He looks a bit like an officer Tilbury there, hat. doesn't he? Yeah, but it's a t I think it's a gangster hat, a Tilbury. Well, he's got his arm out on one of them. Look, like, I've got I mean, a gun in his head. <laughs> yeah. Just walk quietly Indians, across the screen. I've got Come a on. gun here. Exactly. And that's what they would do, though, isn't it, in them days? I don't know. Seen that's what it kind of reminds you of. <laughs> but then, that... has he got a gun? Look. <laughs> Come on, walk on. Walk Maybe on. he's holding an umbrella or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a robbery. A robbery on CCTV. <laughs> the water looks a bit strange, I have to say. <coughs> but I'm <coughs> heading towards that water. But I think I zoom in again. Look, just look at the water. That's all bananas. Mm. But the bit to me is why would you have a sun and moon killer there? Remember that changer? Oh, this person doesn't look right. His feet disappear. Look. Disappear, disappear, mm. disappear. And that doesn't look right as he goes across the screen because there's a double echo there, so that's not right. I just, I just look at that water. You can see the building through it. You wouldn't be able to see the building through it. It would be all distorted, and it isn't. It's still see you can still see it through the building, just up here. I mean the water, the building through the water yeah. here. But it, yeah, all right. right. You'll still have the same effect with it over. Mm. I've seen it at London, like Buckingham this is Palace. a cartoon, Mickey. I'm saying this stuff right. You put Buckingham Palace on a waterfall. You've got like, um, oh, that's what mm. you said. Remember the point of that? You think that's a balloon station? Well, a yeah, docker, a docker. It's like when they have the top. One. Yeah, because yeah, see the see the nipple. Because you're like in the 360 like walk platform, yeah. Because you're next to a big Phoenician garden, mount, uh, water features. So all the tops of these buildings are very elaborate, rather, and the rest of it's just pretty plain down the bottom, doesn't it? So when you yeah. so in a hot air balloon, uh, the Zeppelin days, these would be your hotels at the top, yeah. And that's why they're quite elaborate. We well, never hear. Well, when I when I went to when I went to Detroit, yeah. I had to stay in the hotel things, yeah. in the top of the building. You don't hear any of that, do no, you? No, no. If it was me, I'd have gone over the top of the building. Our and people I don't myself. seem to know all this stuff. <laughs> I'd see myself getting on there. Well, I wouldn't do it. I'd be going. Damn! If I'm going down there, I'll stay on the ship. Yeah, I ain't getting none of them rickety steps. But no, I do. don't. None of it but was they do. safe. They've got pictures. Yeah. None of it looks safe to me. And as you see, even top here, the white building, you know, points. I'm very plain down below. Yeah. So it's all for, uh, well, anyway, I was looking at that yeah. water and thinking how strange it looked, but to me it just all looks like a cartoon. But either, who knows what we're Nin looking at? You thought that that was a valve system for the steam. Oh well, that's the thing. You know, the tech, the the amount of pressure you need is thousands of, like hundreds of tons of water pressure to get these to come out like that. So what be, the water? Yes, yeah, so that'll be old tech, old steam the way they used it you know go back here to the water underneath so underneath there yeah you know it's like 
you try and get that amount of pressure today with the way they make their machines, it's like, geez, can we plan a bomb? You know? But for these, this is nothing. They could put the power out by steam. And as we see across here... I thought that was quite magnificent yeah. waterfall, really. It's, it's about the 1930s. Yeah. Well, yeah, there we go. Look, there's the steam here. So every building would be steamed, even the radiators, all going to the top here with these little chimneys and letting out all the pressure, the steam pressure. So they have big steam machines under the buildings themselves. Now leaving that to some, like fire, fire hydrants, you know what I mean? Just turn them on in your hall and they'll, you know. And these were probably made hundreds of years before, because yeah. these things so, last, because yeah, uh, yeah, they're still here. Some of these things well, are still here now working. Remember the gardens uh, from the New York one. Too. I made one off the BBC. Me. I watched it. I think it was in Italy. Yeah. They said that the cement was different kind of cement, and it was thousands it's years older than they thought it was. Yeah. And you're like, and it was it was still supplying the waterfalls in that place. And they said when you put an amount of water under, it gets rid of all the mosquitoes. Yeah, because it's constantly flowing. Yeah, mosquitoes love static. Water. Anyway, this is kind of the static. end of the video yeah. now, Mickey. Yeah, yeah. I just thought that bit with those blokes walking, it looked like a cartoon. And the robbery. <laughs> and the robbery or the police officer saying, get across yeah. there, I've got a gun yeah. on you. I just think it's all weird. It just doesn't add up. None yeah. of it does. And all the wibble wobbling. Look, Chevrolet starting up Wibble now, wobbling look. going on up here. Chevrolet will be like Detroit, isn't it? And look at that. There's another like, landing platform. And then we got the classic oh, 33. Yeah. Three, three and three. I told you, I've seen this before, that you can see numbers on it. So what's that? Because it's actually a product, it because they're you, making a video. It. Well, is this, is this building 333 on there? Yeah. Forgotten to take yeah. the threes. Three motors on there. <laughs> Tells you who done it. Three, three, three. There you go. Those da I hate threes. Remember, when you came down here, in the beginning, there was two pillars, the sun and moon pillar, and this was right in the middle of them. Look at that. Three, three, three. What more do you need? You need 30, you know? Just it's got threes all over it. Well, let's just say they're a bit more prominent, aren't they? You can see that. I don't should, have to zoom be in. Threes anyway. There you go. Me and Mickey are a bit like, threes. there you go. But yet again, they've got to put it in there somewhere have to yeah this is what this is all about it's all about f-a-k-e you see it you won't see it yeah i'm a bit upset about these things because we can't trust anything that we see because one way or another <laughs> when we break it down the wrong things are there yeah it's, 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 even the people have numbers on them well you've seen that in their hair seen that's, it on nancy pelosi's neck that's that that oh god you know that stuff do you know that was all copyrighted on another video because they don't want that in there showing how ridiculous it all is. Ooh, well, I not have that. I had to sort that one out. That Nearly every food. day one of my videos gets uh, kind of banned. But, but we are coming to the end of this video. I don't know what your thoughts are to all this because I just see the anomalies and I don't like it. And at the end of the video, we kind of nearly forgot about that. Yeah, I, I never. I know. Free three and a three anyway it's finishing now the video thanks very much mickey thank you it's good night from me it's good night from her <laughs> good, night. good night from him <laughs> thanks night, very guys. much god bless thanks mickey thanks, guys. yeah thank you and thanks floss what's that number two now she says what what have i done now anyway we need to get somewhere what's thanks that? everybody Lovely.